Hello and welcome. My name is Monsieur Faudel. I'm the president and CEO of IT is Fantastic. I'd like to welcome you to today's show and today's episode. As you can see, we stepped out of the uh, office and we're going to go on a little road trip. Reason being is we're trying to talk about the key to success, uh, how to be successful in what we do, and what are the key structures or characteristics or how do we define success. In my case, I'm very fortunate to have a friend and a mentor, someone that I see as a role model and a mentor, and they come from American royalty. You know, when you talk about politics, you got the Kennedys or, or the Bush family or whatever. When you talk about success, being in the ring against any person and just winning, you know, round after round, it's the Ali family, the whole family, whether you talk about Muhammad Ali or Layla Ali. Well, today I'm going to introduce you to my role model. Her name is Khalil Ali. She's just amazing. She's been in so many different fields. She's my definition of success. So today I'd like us to join in, in, in meeting this person and just kind of learning a little bit of success, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you, and join me in today's trip. Jaws been broke, been lost, knocked down a couple of times. Bad! Been chopping trees. I done something new for this fight. I done wrestled with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to welcome you today. We're here with Miss Khalil Ali. Uh, again, like I said, the Ali family is just legendary. I mean, they're, 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 they're kind of American royalty, basically. Everything they touch, I mean, they're the ring and, and literally any kind of ring, and they will just win because they have that right winning mindset. So we'd like to welcome to our viewers. Thank you. Salaam, sister. Thank you. Appreciate it. Happy to be here. Thank you so much. And like I said, today what we want to do is kind of motivate our people. A lot of people have that mindset of, I am where I am, and they just get complacent. They get rested. Can you tell me about your journey? Can you just kind of touch on My what? journey, it was, you know, even at a young age, uh -huh. at the age of, uh, I'd say, three, when I was learning the alphabets. Okay. I thought it was so hard, and I just, I can't get it. And, and so, the Imam Ravdi Muhammad was a teacher. Yes. And he made the alphabets look like donuts. Wow. And candy, and and then it started getting interesting because I was getting hungry. So creativity is important. So it's creativity important is that. important. Absolutely. That's what attracted me to the language itself. So if I'm trying to learn something, be creative in the way you learn it. Yeah, but you know the Absolutely. best part of it, uh -huh. which you should focus on, is that it's a journey. It's going down the journey. You know when you look at the movie Jumanji. Uh -huh. The Germany, you go to all these places, they take journeys, and you'll enjoy the journey that you're going to go through. It's just like being Jumanji. A lot of people have that problem. They're just worried about yeah. the last point. They don't enjoy, they don't enjoy yeah. the journey. I like yeah. that. In the long run, when you're doing all this hard work, you get bored. So what you got to do, anytime you get with something, you get something bored. But I'll tell you something. Uh-huh. If you really want to reach a certain goal, you set a goal. Absolutely. Then it makes it better. So I think, kids, guys, <laughs> if you want to do something, this is what you do when you start off. You can do it now because it's a new, brand new year. And it's called a goal poster. You set goals. Like any kind of dream that you have in your vision, in your mind, anything, you put it like, I would like to do this, and your minds are so brilliant, you're not going to stick to one thing. You're going to open the doors to other things. And you play with it a while and see if you like it. Absolutely. Okay, so you have the goal. If you got a goal, you got to have the practice. Right. You got to put the work. You got to work hard for it. Right. Now, you know what? Uh -huh. My father created the first own golf course in Chicago. Father created My father, his, his golf friend. Course. He owned it. He owned, owned the Southern Golf Course. Oh my God. Because my, love, wow. my father loved to play golf. Absolutely. So I was looking at my dad take this white ball, put it in a hole. I said, Dad, that's kind of stupid. He oh, said, wait, I tell you, this? this is a 90, 91. Wow, wow, 92. unbelievable. Uh -huh. And I said, that's silly, you know, putting a ball in a hole, that, that's stupid. He said, I tell you what, why don't you take the club, take the ball, and you put it in a hole. That was the hardest thing for me to do. It was crazy how hard it was. It was just so crazy. I said, I'd rather drive the cart. 
I'll just drive the I'll car. I'll just drive the car. I'll just drive the car, and I drove the car all over the place. But then it kept bothering me to get that ball in the hole, so I kept practicing it, and I became a 14 handicap. I could go professional wow. if I wanted to do. Wow, that's impressive. Because I practice, I practice, I practice. See, a lot of people, like in 19, we have a lot of people that are complacent. They get mm -hmm. used to one position, mm -hmm. and they're scared. For example, a lot of people do project management. But they're scared of public speaking, for example. I can't get up and speak in front of people. Or they, 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 they're a business analyst, but they don't know a language like R, for example. Really? I'm too scared to learn this or that. Really? And that mindset just sets them back. They don't get to the highest level. So, so you know what a my, lot of people my say, father would say about uh -huh. you? Yes. You're afraid of success. A lot of people justify... <laughs> They'll tell me that. They'll tell me that. But here's the thing. Hmm. A lot of people say, I believe I can fly. Can you fly? I can fly, literally. Literally. <laughs> In a plane. You're kidding me. In a plane. This okay, one I, I gotta hear this one. one I gotta time, hear this one. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad yes. had a Learjet. Okay. And his grandson learned how to fly so he could fly his jet for him. So Sultan Muhammad would go mm -hmm. to classes mm -hmm. and learn how to fly. Beautiful. So we come up like cousins. He said, Khalil. He said, You wanna go with me? I'm gonna do my a couple of solos today in the plane. I said, Oh yeah, sure. Oh my God. Because of the fact that all the honor students was able to go. The Elijah Muhammad said, "If you become an honor student, we'll get all the honor students together, and you're gonna go to Mixfield in Chicago, yes. take off in a helicopter, and go around the city." Well, when I did that, that got me stuck. I, go, I believe I can oh, fly. I want to fly. I want to fly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. And then there was a movie on TV called The Whirly Bird. Okay. And Sky King. It was all planes. Nice. So, sometimes says, Kalila, come on, let's go. we're going to go up. And he gets in there, and I, I gets in the cockpit. And I'm looking at all the little things, and he's hitting all these buttons and everything. I go, oh, my God. And he takes off. Nice. So he kept talking about the plane, and he said, we're going to land here. And he would take off again, and he would land and take off. And so, oh, it's so exciting. So, I says, I got this. I got this. Mm -hmm. So, when we finally got back to the airport, he says, you want to land the plane? I said, sure. I got this. I got this. And I smoothed the plane down and land on both wheels real smooth. Unbelievable. For the first time. Unbelievable. Wow. The plane the instructor came over to the plane and said, Santa, you did not land that plane. She landed that plane. You want you oh you know how to fly? God. He said, I said, no, I, this is the first time. He says, You wanna learn? At the Butler Aviation. I said, Yes, I wanna learn, so I went to school to learn how to fly. And now you can fly. Now I can fly. I can fly anything on wheels if it's a one engine or two engine. But Beautiful. when I went to visit the Blue Angels, they taught me how to fly F-16. They didn't know they were messing with an Ali. Yes, Keep sir. The Ali's are aggressive, and they like to do the best that they can do. So here's what I like, and a lot of people don't realize that, is that it's okay to be scared. It's okay to be it's nervous. Always to be it's scared. okay to know that this it's is a okay. challenge, but you, okay. just got, you gotta... You turn the butterflies, the scary part, into something. Give it your strength. Say that again. Say that again. I said, they, they, they you take all the negativity, uh -huh. all of that fear and everything, you use it as your strength. So even though I'm comfortable with my job, yes. my minimum yes. pay job, or with, with, yes. with a, you know, getting complacent, and I'm nervous and scared to do this. I know I can do it, or maybe I can do it, or people you know say I can do it, you know but what? I'm scared. You're you know saying just, go ahead. Just focus, because, you know what, everybody wants to be the best. Everybody normally just naturally want to be the best of anything. Absolutely. It comes natural to them because the Creator has made you to be the best. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And you have to break that barrier because you are the best. If you fail in anything, there's something there that will kick, to kick start your, 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 your energy to want to learn something. And you owe it yourself to do it. Now, I, uh -huh. Muhammad Ali, when he started fighting, I figured this out before he did. And I'm just watching him. I gotta hear this one. He, he went uh -huh. up 
when he would fight, the best thing he could do is train well. Absolutely. If you train well, your 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 endurance will come through. If you exercise properly, yes. it'll give you a second wind if you do it consistently. And the magic to everything is consistency. To be consistent. That is your major goal, to just Absolutely. keep doing it. I don't care how bad it feels, how bad you feel, you just have to keep doing it. You see Michael Jackson, he kept doing he kept practicing, he practiced, every day he practiced, he practiced, he looked in the mirror, he looked at himself dancing, and he practiced that, so when he got on stage, all he would do is focus in his mirror. But I bet you don't know how to fight nothing. Huh? You don't know how to fight. Who, me? Yeah. Well, I tell I you bet what. You don't. I bet you don't. I tell you what. My grandfather, friend from Europe, Japan, Europe. taught me how to do karate, because I was little, and I wanted to be able to beat somebody up without hurting myself and with karate you actually lose your weight I use your weight for me oh wow so the bigger you are the better it is for me Smart. to fight you so they trained me how to see one of the power downs where I was talking about it's not, it's not just hard work yeah. It's smart work. It's smart working work. smart as well. Yeah. You work hard. It's the quality of what mom always said, don't work hard, quality. work smart, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So in karate you do that. So you karate do, you do was that smart. But when I learned how to knock somebody out, it was really easy. All right. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. yeah. <laughs> um, 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 right. <laughs> it was so easy how to knock somebody out. You can actually literally so knock somebody out. So what you got, a white belt? Huh? Are you a white belt? I was a white belt. Oh, I'm a ninth grade black belt now. Nine times. Do you know Bruce Lee is? Bruce Lee is a, one of my teachers. Okay. I but we was on the same team. I need my body. Bruce my and body I. <laughs> Bruce and I. You and Bruce Lee. We was on the same team. So there Bruce, is no limit. Bruce said there I was no never going up against her. She's too quick. Nice. Yes. Okay. I said. I said <laughs> that was really being nice. You know that. But Bruce Lee had one advantage. A lot of fighters don't have. He know gymnastics. He did gymnastics. That That's explains why a lot he was of able to jump over. He would jump over. See, people. see, I like you saying that because. But one thing that I liked about the gymnastics part you said is that usually at work people are complacent. They like what they do, but if they learn one more skill, that'd be better than anybody else. Oh, and they, they don't would, do that. Yeah, if they would so stay. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee had that. He had that, he had had that had one that. thing. I think what is it? Van Damme also did something. You know, all of them. You yeah. just take that one extra step. Yeah. It takes you a different level. See, Muhammad Ali has a technique. Uh -huh. When he fought, he would run backwards. He would run and jump backwards. Oh, wow. So in the ring, he would go backwards and make the opponent come toward him. And then the, 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 the opponent is vulnerable because he knows wow. where, where he's at. So he, he, he fights smart. A great thing we always talk about, so there's smart and then there's planning. Planning. Part of the planning thing is, even the robo dope thing. Yeah. He was talking about round one, I'll do well, this, when you, round two, I'll do this. But you have to do that by mastering what you do. And not being afraid. Now he, and not, uh, Master, he, okay. he wasn't afraid of anything. He was afraid, he just didn't want to lose. He just didn't like losing. So he said, I'm going to perfect my art. See, he know, if he knows you, he perfect weighs you in the wing, art. and he knows you're in the ring, and he knows what your vulnerable, your vulnerable parts he knows when it hits you. A, a lot of people just watch the TV or yeah. watch someone that got rich or someone that started a company up a garage. They don't see the hard work behind it. They don't it's see the sacrifices. And th there's a lot, a lot of, of mind. Work. Even even your, your brain plays games on you. Yeah. I think like when Muhammad Ali in Vietnam War, for example. Yeah. We just hear it now and he's a hero, but people don't realize that he had a family back then. He, he had, had kids the sacrifice. back then. There's sacrifice. It was sacrifice. He had to sacrifice, well, you know, Matter of fact, I was giving I was giving him advice about the army because he was gonna go. And that's sacrifice. That yeah. takes someone. But I told strong him. Mindset. But I told him if uh -huh. he stand up. Yes. And never give up. Stand up. And there's never gonna give be up. consequences. There's gonna be consequences. You might not be able to fight anymore, and it happened. They took his boxing license from him, and most importantly, they took his passport away from him. See, a lot of people don't realize that the hard work, there, there's commitment that comes with it's it. Commitment. There is stress, there's physical, yeah. 
effort that comes yeah, into it. Because the sacrifice. minute you give up, that's when you lose. You cannot give up. Absolutely. You cannot surrender. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you do anything, just be the best and just go beyond. Always go that extra Always step. Always go that extra step, Don't that extra be mile. Okay. Because you will surprise yourself. What about your family? Did your kids you get them into computers and stuff? I got my kids in the computers. Yes. Like one of my daughters, I'm gonna tell you what, but right before everybody had them in their homes, okay. it was trying to break them into people's homes. Okay. So my daughters, Kalila and Amina, was going to school. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amina's mind's always all over all over the place. <laughs> she she go over here, and she uh -huh. goes over here. And uh -huh. she goes over there. She gets in all nice. this. She don't focus on anything. All right. So they had an evening with the parents. Is that the, Ali Energy? Yeah, Ali yeah, Energy. Ali She's Energy. all over the place. All right. So they had a thing called Computer Evening, and they were going to introduce computers to the kids. All right. So everybody got in line to touch the computer and see what you can do, how it works. Yes. There are little things you learn. There are strategies. As long as you can read, you can, you can work a computer. Uh-huh. And Kali Amina gets on the computer like this, and her focus was so focused on it, she didn't want to move over for somebody else to come. Oh my God! She wow. stayed focused. I says, "I tell you what, if you get all A's, I'll buy you one." She said, okay. And they were expensive back then. Very expensive. Very they expensive. were big. Yes. They're big, bulky. Computer was a computer. Yeah. I spent ten grand on two computers. These kids wow. learned. Got all A's, no B's, so they can get the computer, but I had two to get computers. And I had to get the printer that goes with it. The first one we talked about, which is creative, always learn creatively. Yes. But the second one is you gotta invest in your dream. You have to. You gotta invest. You have to sacrifice everything for it. If you believe in it, if you think you if deserve you better, then you gotta you gotta invest yeah. into it. But you know okay. what? I'm gonna tell you something. Yes. Computers is the highest part of knowledge you can ever get. How did they graduate from school? They graduated with all A's valedictorian because of these computers. So they wouldn't do things. anything without the computer. And I'm going to tell you something. Yes. I I like superheroes. Yes. I like all the Marvel comics. I like the DC comics. I think they're great. And I created my I had I had a nephew my sister had four boys, yeah. <laughs> and one the youngest one was named Otto. And Otto, he got murdered Sorry, in Chicago. Yes. Uh, in his car, somebody just came by and shot him. And uh, it really hurt me. It broke my heart. And I was on the computer at the time, and I was doing a computer game. Yes. And the games was... Uh, some of the, the women were kind of vulgarly dressed, not right, on uh -huh, boobs. Uh -huh. and it's, it, I mean, a young kids shouldn't see stuff like that. Okay, so, absolutely. So what I did, I created a game. I, I did it. not know that. I, I, I did not tell know you. that. The game is called Legend of the Legacy. And it's because of my nephew being murdered, I created... A superhero. I am a mild mannered teacher. I created this character called amazing. The, the amazing. Vanguard. Amazing. Yeah, her name is really Nisa. And she's the vanguard of the children. She protects the children. And then they go back to the neighborhood and said, No, these girls are gonna be, we're gonna take them out. And they start cleaning up the neighborhood. And here's wow, this is this and it's is called Legend of the, of Legacy. the Legacy. And those two boys became mayors in the city and help with the guns and the bad guys. And it's called Legend of Lay. I went to Paris, uh, Cannes, the big uh, convention they have on games. Yes. I went there with my two kids. I took my Rashida and Amina, uh, Kalila and, and Amina yes. to France and we started learning French and the language. Is and there something that you just don't learn? <laughs> And I, I had a poster of my game. Yes. And I went, it cost a lot of money, but I went into the game and PlayStation CEO saw me. He says, finish the storyboard, I'll produce your game. You can only do it on this computer. 
So you gotta learn computers. You gotta learn computers. If you don't learn the computers, you're gonna fall way by, by, way, by wayside because the future is computers. Everything is dealt with computers. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. See, this is the this is a Superman Muhammad Ali versus Superman. This is all animation. Uh -huh. Animation, all computerized. Superstar, Marvels, they did all of this in car in, in a like a comic strip, and then they made this movie from it. So the, this picture of Muhammad Ali is all done in computer. It's made out of a certain type of material that if it, it, it if it gets wet, it'll just roll off. It won't destroy the picture. It's amazing what you can do with you know digital and, stuff. And what what this says on here? It says don't count the days. Make the days count. That's powerful. Always Isn't something power? powerful. Yes. Always something powerful. So he was a very powerful man. That's why he could name the rounds. He would go down and I'll get him in four. I'll get him in seven. But if he can give him in seven, he actually can get him in five. He'll just let it go along until he predicts his moment he want to go down. Unbelievable. Yeah. He was, but, he was, that's he was a computerized fighter. But he didn't even realize how computerized he was. Because he kept doing it over and over and over again. So it's hard work, it's consistency, it's consistency, planning. It's planning. It's having goals. Because you know what? Uh -huh. Every individual, yes. every kid, every child, yes. is made to be the best. And it's up to them to want to pull that out of them. So a lot of people it's say... It's in them already. A lot of people say your worst enemy is yourself. It is. It is. See, can you explain that to me? Yeah, because uh, a yeah. lot of times, a lot of people will do something. I said, no, I can't do that because I don't think I'm gonna. It's gonna. I'm gonna make it. But you don't underestimate the power of yourself. Don't underestimate the power of yourself. Right. I because love that. God has, I love has that. created you to be the best. Wow. And the only thing that's gonna stop you from being the best is you. You can blame everybody in the world, but it's only you. So if I want to succeed, it's on me. Yeah. If I want to grow, it's on me. Yeah. If you want to be president of the United States, you can do it. It's on you. It's all on you. You have to be consistent. And the journey of six, ex, uh, consistency is you have to turn it into a journey. Just like when you read a book. When you read a book. Yes. You read the book as a journey to see what's going to happen next. And you keep waiting for that because every page is going to be something new. It's building that suspense. Yeah. See, I like that because a lot of people do not enjoy the journey. And that's why they fail at the stop to, you, have to, you have to that's take That's amazing. It. A, lot, a lot of people are just yeah. worried about chapter 10. I just want to get to the end of it. Yeah. But you have to enjoy the journey. The journey. To grow. Yeah. Okay. If you see Thor and you're looking at Thor. Yes. You know he's on another planet. Uh-huh. And he knows he got a hammer. And he knows you can reach for the hammer and it comes. But there was a story before that hammer to get you to know that the hammer is going to be there. Okay. That's what draws the interest in looking at a movie. You want to see the outcome of the movie. But you want the movie to be exciting all the way through. And so you got to enjoy the journey. you got to enjoy the if journey. If you want to grow, if you want to succeed in your career, if you want to succeed in your life. If you want to be a movie it. maker. Uh-huh. Just like Stan Lee created comics. He had help. But see, he's not the only one. I just created HC Comics. There's HC, guys. You're going to see HC Comics coming before we you. Can't God wait. willing, I can't wait. We can't wait. Make, God will bless you. If you ask for something for God, He will give it to you. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. Because every time you see all these things, everything, this computer, this telephone, look at the telephone. Look at this telephone. You got cell phones now. This is a big, this is a big transition from this, from this to this. Absolutely. And it's all because of computers. Remember the computers you got for ten thousand dollars? Yes. That does a million times more. A million times more. That, times that, that little just, just a little bit of device. <laughs> After a while, these are gonna be all, like you got from here to the watches now. Absolutely. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but the effect is astronomical. Wow. It's astronomical and you owe yourself to be because, okay, if you want to create something, they always say you can't reinvent the wheel. Yeah, but you can make a wheel better. Anytime you want to do something, 
try to figure out whatever you're doing now to make it better, to make it easier. If you do that as helping somebody, you're always going to be successful. Unbelievable. You're always going to be successful. There's no way you cannot be successful. When you do something, you don't do it to make money. You do it to help others. Money comes by itself. Don't worry wow, about trying to be rich. That's yeah, a great approach. never try to make a lot of money. Make sure there's value in it. Return it has to be value, value in what you're doing. Absolutely. A sensitive, simple value. Everything in the world is really simple. God don't make it complicated. He makes everything simple. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And if you want to make a lot of money, uh -huh. don't worry about the money. Worry about what you're creating for the good of others. Of others to make this planet an easy way to live. To make it more convenient. Look at look at all these flat screen t uh, computers now. Before the computers I got my kids was bigger than this thing right here. It was oh bulky. <laughs> now you got big old TVs like this. Now you got flat screens. Why? Because they learn to put that chip in a very, all the mechanism is a small chip. And you can't do it without computers. Absolutely. There's nothing in this world you can do without computers but plant seeds in the ground. So, so at work, if, if, if I'm scared of public speaking or I need to learn Java or Python or R, you know just, what? Just, just go for it. I have, I have never. It, it does get to bring me my emotions. I, I don't. I only felt uh, like I was very <laughs> quiet. Oh, guys, believe it or not, I was shy. Uh -huh. I, I was real shy. You're sorry to believe that, but I was shy. But when I focus on what I want to do, I don't think about the shyness anymore. I think about what I want to do. When I was focus. in school, yeah, I was focusing. Focus when I was in school. Okay. We had to, we had to sing the school song, right? Uh huh. So we went down the line to see if anybody could carry the tune, so they could do the solo for the school song. It's for University of Islam, and everybody went down and everybody's cracking. Yes. I said they're cracking. Let me see how can I do this. Uh huh. I'm always the last because I'm the tallest. So by the time they got to me, I would begin to breathe. Now this was no coach, no speech therapy, no nothing like that. I just know if I say it, I said it real low. University of Islam. And I was the one who ended up singing the song. Wow. In front of everybody. But I didn't think about who was in the audience. I started focusing on what I was doing. The more people was in the room, the better I got. Okay. It's harder for me to sing in front of you. But if it's a hundred people, you got this. I got this. Because I, I feed off of people's emotions. I feed off the audience. This is amazing. This My is amazing. sisters and brothers right now, my kids. Don't know how I can get up and sing in front of people. Well, we're happy you do. Hey! We're and, happy you do. And you do. know how I learned how to do that? Because I focused on what I was doing and not focusing on people. So you actually right. can do anything you want. You will be amazed what your mind will let you do. And what you don't know, you try to figure it out. And it's easy, but a lot of times people, instead of learning Java or Python or R, and, and, and if they do it, their salary will go up twenty, thirty thousand know. more a year. Yeah. But but they get they get scared. They they. But you know what? Uh huh. Then you are missing a lot of money right now. You are missing a lot of money. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, learn this computer. It's not that hard. It will surprise you. Every door you turn is going to be something new. You're not going to ever get bored with it. So, if you want to better yourself, you hit, you hit it, then it takes you it straight, carries you you straight there, and you read it. Technology is the most... You are high tech. I'm high tech you all are high the tech. way. Oh my God, you know, I love this. If I, I love this. Once I get this here, I and it, it has that. And also they have, like when you go to a Play Store, 
And this is all free, dude. All free. Unbelievable. It's free. Life is free. All you have to do is take advantage of what you have in store for you. I got one last question for yes. you. We know Muhammad could talk. Muhammad Ali could speak a whole lot of... He could trash talk people pretty he, good. Yeah, pretty. He's, he could talk a way out of a paper bag, trust did me. Did you help him in that? Yes, I did. No way. I help him with his poems. You help him with his poems? Yeah. Is there something you don't know? Yeah. I, I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Go gonna, ahead. I'm going to finish this one first. Please. My mama he was getting ready to fight, starting to listen. He wasn't even a Muslim yet. But by him hanging around Muslims a lot, Sonny Liston says, I'm going to knock out that black Muslim. Now mm -hmm. that upset me a lot. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, that's it. I'm going to write this poem out here. And I, I just, just, just start, it, I, I, I just started writing it. I didn't even think of it. It just, words just came to me and I wrote it out. You focus. I like when you focus. I focus right on something because uh -huh. I really wanted to get something and it just started rhyming by itself. And it just started rhyming by itself. Uh-huh. And I knew the way he talked. Now, though, that's similar to we, we have the same kind of mannerisms. Yes. So, it was like, you're really easy. And I, I said, you know what, here, I want you to take that poem and I want you to read that to Sonny Liston because I do not like the guy. That's what Liston did some, so he started when the, he, he said started that, the, uh, yeah. Okay. He said, you want me to read this? You're giving this to me? Muhammad said, Ali. Yes. Ooh, it was cash and okay. Okay. It Okay. Cash. I was helping this guy before we got married. All right. God bless you for it. So I said, and then he got on TV. My dad said, oh, this guy's on TV reading your boy. I said, Are you real? serious? Right on television. News. Right on TV and read right, News break. This is the legend of Cassius Clay, the most beautiful fighter in the world today. This fierce fight is great. He's got speed and endurance. But if you're trying to sign to fight him, increase your insurance. This kid's got a left. <laughs> this kid's got a right. Look at the kid carry the fight. All the crowd's getting frantic. It's not enough room. They all lead Lord's boom. Who would have thought it came to fight to see a spook satellite? No one would dream when they put down their money to see a total eclipse of Sunday. There it is. Unbelievable. Yeah. Letter for letter. And it worked. And I said, this guy's reading my point. Oh my goodness. On TV. And and I just it would just came out of me to just have enough nerve to tell him to do that. I didn't I didn't you know what? My mother told me one thing, and I'm gonna tell this to you guys. Never form your lips to say, I shoulda, woulda, coulda. Really? She's, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, I shoulda, woulda, coulda. Because that means, if you say that, man, you shoulda done this, but you didn't, and you missed out because you did Say that again, say that again. Never form your lips uh -huh. to say, I shoulda, woulda, coulda. Because once you Never say that, say, coulda, that coulda, means coulda. you've passed by the opportunity that your mind could told you to do and you didn't do it. Unbelievable. And you just gotta go with it. You just gotta go with it. You gotta go with it. Long as it doesn't hurt anybody, and long as it doesn't hurt you, it doesn't hurt others, and you're trying to help somebody, never fear. Never fear. You never can go wrong that way. Move on. Because God gives you instincts, and a lot of people don't follow. You know the words that y'all say, if I had done this, no, nah, no. Nah. You should have done it. You shouldn't have said I should have done it. Or just start doing. Just start doing. Just start doing. Yeah. You know how you got to turn? Do it. Do it. That means do it. Do what's good. Do what's right. And you'll never go wrong. And it will never go wrong for you. Oh, but thanks. this here computer thing. Uh huh. I'm 69 years old. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I'll be 70 in March, and I'll. I, I'm still gonna do my my Legend of the Legacy g game. Your game. And I'm gonna put it on the screen. And it was all done by computers. And you're gonna do your Java and Python. And I'm gonna do my Java. Not just the Java drinking, the other Java. The other Java. The other computer Java. I'm gonna do the Java <laughs> because I need it. And I'm gonna do the Python too as well because I have books that I wrote to teach manners and etiquette. I need to you sell them on my it. website. I love that. Uh -huh. well, you do that too. I can learn from you. Well, I, I've learned quite a bit from it. Okay. I, well, I want you to come and help me put, I put it online. It. I want to we do that. We would love to do that. We Once I get it online with the technology, we would love to do that. Uh, then I can put an ad and tell them to go to my website and buy the books. 
We would love to do that. Buy my games, to buy everything. Absolutely. And when you buy things that something somebody needs, you gotta promote it. And this is the best way to do it. Pour it right here on your computer. This is the highest form of knowledge. It's for growing someplace, but this is the highest form. You can help your dad, your mom with their with their sales. This is all in it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Faith. Thank I really you. appreciate it. God bless you, sister. God bless you. When I was a little girl, it was basically girls can do anything. Boys can do everything. So I would ride horses, so I learned how to play polo. I knew how to ride western. I learned how to do all those, and I had fun doing them. I went fishing one day. I couldn't catch a fish. I went to Africa. I threw a pole in the water. The fish snapped like that. That's the kind of fishing I like. When you throw the, the, the bait in the water, you grab the fish, and then they take the fish, they cook it, and you eat it right there at the restaurant, right there in Africa. It was the most And learn to travel. Travel is the most important thing in the world, is traveling. Traveling is the best thing you could do, too, to travel. Photography, I learned how to take pictures and take pictures of animals and and, and instincts and plants and trees, scenery and people, famous people. I've taken a lot of pictures of some of the famous people. So I love doing all these things. Just learn what your hobbies are when you're young. Don't throw your life away. So always be the best you can be. Nothing can stop you from being what you want to be. Nothing. Nothing can stop you. So it's the best to just learn as much as you can when you can because we're not promised tomorrow so you need to this living thing is a gift this is a total gift just to be living and breathing is a gift and you should take advantage of your gift and learn as much as you can learn professional jaws been broke been lost knocked down a couple of times bad been chopping trees i done something new for this fight i done wrestled with an alligator <laughs> That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Bad dude. Bad. Fast. Fast. Fast! Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast! Incredible. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the